Here's an AMI This Week shortcut with Alex Smythe. In the town of Oshawa, Ontario, things may appear to be calm and quiet, but unbeknownst to many, nearby you can hear the roar of engines. Feel the ground shake and witness tank fire. Yes, tank fire. This is the Ontario Regiment Museum, commemorating the history of the Ontario Regiment, as well as military vehicles, lots of them. We currently have uh, the largest number of operational vehicles in North America, short of an army. Dan Aker is the operations manager of the Ontario Regiment Museum. About 30 odd years ago, um, a number of members of the regiment, some serving, some retired, uh, managed to buy from the Canadian Forces a number of ferret scout cars to form a ceremonial troop. And as they became well known, various people said, hey, I've got a rotted away vehicle in my back 40, or I've got one in the garage, I can't take care of it. So we started inheriting more of these vehicles, bringing them up to snuff, and gradually our collection grew. We have a wide variety of vehicles. We have, uh, I think, eight or nine ferrets, but we also have vehicles that span from World War II to almost the present day. Other vehicles include the Leopard tank, armored personnel carriers, and many, many more. Part of what the, what the uh, museum is about is to show people uh, not only the vehicles, but give them the opportunity to see the vehicles move, to smell them as they move, the wonderful scent of diesel in the morning, to feel the ground shake when heavier vehicles drive in front of them. So we believe that history is a living history. The vehicles are just one part. The front room of the museum is a static display section with exhibits of weaponry, uniforms, and other wartime paraphernalia, dating back as far as 1866 all the way to our presence in Afghanistan. But the big draw to the museum is their tank days. We do tank days basically the first Saturday of, uh, first or second Saturday of most months from basically May until October. And people can wander in and they will be able to see the museum. They'll be able to see a number of additional displays that we will have out. And then at one o'clock, there's actually a show. We're going to have a simulated tank battle. What do you guys think about that? Woo! Against two modern main battle tanks. The show involves differing themes from month to month, and a parade of tanks and other military vehicles from World War I and II all the way to the present day in a field. It's a unique experience. All the visitors can actually see, feel, and understand the vehicles. And then, just to top it all off, we'll take two vehicles and we'll put them in the field, usually an M60 and a Leopard, and we will have a tank battle. So they're going to just go to their starting uh, firing positions to start uh, Battle Royale. The M60A3 is a U.S.-built, massive main battle tank. It's approximately 22 feet long, 11 feet wide, and 10 feet tall, with a 105 millimeter gun and weighs in at about 52 tons. Though it's a mild-mannered tan color, it looks menacing. Its competitor is the Leopard 1A5. These were designed to be lighter, weighing in at a mere 40 tons. This one stands approximately 9 feet tall, 27 feet long, and 11 feet wide, sporting a dark green camouflage. I wouldn't want to meet this tank in a dark alley either. Both those vehicles will maneuver around the field. Both vehicles are equipped with propane systems. So what happens is they inject propane oxygen in the spark so they can shoot at each other and you will hear a bang, a fairly large one, and a little red flame coming out of the barrel but there is no projectile. And uh, so it's a very interactive and unique experience, I think, throughout North America. Leopard is using its speed advantage, as you can see. As part of tank days, visitors can also pay for the chance to ride in some of the military vehicles, including tanks. This is one opportunity I couldn't pass up. Standing nine feet high, nine feet wide, and 20 feet long, the 30-ton M4 Sherman tank is iconic and was used in countless situations during World War II and beyond. Today, this is my ride. 
So, as I less than gracefully climbed into the lumber adorned tank, I couldn't hide my excitement. I just got into the tank. This is awesome. Here we go. The ride started. Bye. It's a bummy ride, but I would expect nothing less. <laughs> I've always loved history, but this is on another level. This once in a lifetime experience really helps history to come alive. For a chance to get up close and personal with these vehicles, check out ontrmuseum.ca and roll into the past.